The federal government is investigating the VA Central Western Massachusetts health care system after a local doctor made powerful accusations against their level of care from her deathbed. 22 News I-Team reporter Tamara Karzik spoke to Dr. Sarah Kemble's husband about her fight to change the system. Dr. Sarah Kemble was the chief of medicine at the VA's medical facility in Leeds. She was diagnosed with cancer this past fall and spent her final days blowing the whistle on a facility that she believed was failing our veterans. It was all about making sure veterans got the care they deserved like every other patient she ever saw. Dr. Sarah Kemble loved taking care of others, which is why she was thrilled when she became the chief of medicine of the VA Central Western Massachusetts Medical Facility in Leeds in 2014. But shortly after she accepted the position, she grew increasingly concerned over a level of care that she believed was putting patients at risk. From the day she stepped foot on the, on the premises, she looked around and saw issues that just hit her in the face. Kemble's attorney told the I team those alleged issues range from delays in medical treatment and inadequate patient care to misuse of funds. Kemble tried to make changes, but in the fall of 2017, she was diagnosed with an aggressive form of cancer. In the days leading up to her death, Kemble wrote a 23 page affidavit blowing the whistle on the VA hospital in Leeds. It's my final wish to complete this affidavit so that I can memorialize and testify to the above information so that I can attempt to change systemic and dangerous patient care, dangerous practices, and public safety issues. So just one of the things that she raised was that this facility, which is known as an urgent care facility, is supposed to be a 24-7 facility. And in fact, it's not, because uh, on nights after four or on weekends or holidays, they don't have essential staff. Kemble testified that the facility didn't offer lab services, psychiatric services, or radiology on nights or weekends. She also accuses the facility of misusing funds, spending money on paving and landscaping projects instead of medical care. That wouldn't be an, a bad issue in and of itself if, if there was extra money to hire people like psychiatrists to maybe have a technician after four, maybe have the ability to take labs after four o'clock. So she saw it as a gross misuse of funds. According to Kemble's testimony, she tried to bring her concerns to her bosses and the regional ethics committee, but was retaliated against and demoted. After years of fighting an uphill battle, she made her final effort. She knew she was gonna die, so she decided this affidavit was a way of carrying on after her death. The VA's Office of Accountability and Whistleblower Protection has now opened an investigation into Dr. Sarah Kemble's concerns. We've posted statements from the Department of Veterans Affairs and the VA Central Western Massachusetts Healthcare System on our website, WWLP.com. The 22 News I team will continue to cover the story. I'm Tamara Sakarzik, working for you with the 22 News I team.